Hello and welcome to YouTube production of RV Max US. Today we're going to present you a beautiful Mandalay. We sold this motorhome to our friends about three, four, uh, three years ago or so. 3M film, he just took care of it, took that ugly part off. So the purpose of this video is to show you good, bad and ugly. Speaking of ugly, the ugly 3M film is gone. Uh, they shine the headlights up. This generator slides out hydraulically. It's got about 1400 hours. Uh, really good shape. Windshields are free from any cracks or I think this windshield was new, uh, installed right when we sold it. Both windshields are free from any star cracks or major damage. 3M film removed, very nice looking motorhome, 40E as an elephant. It's a 2005 Mandalay, 40E as an elephant. We're just throwing a quick video. It's been a lot of rainy days here in South Carolina. We're just trying to catch up on some work here. All right, you can also take the uh, things out from here too, I believe. It's, uh, it's got a button inside, maybe. It's got one here or not. You know, having a lot of motorhomes, I can't keep up with them, but uh, it is a hydraulic leveling jack system, hydraulic slide out, a little bit of a 3M, I mean, a little bit of a clear coat's coming off. Uh, but beside that, beautiful champagne, kind of uh, lighter green and darker green and a black strip. Uh, all the slide out toppers are in great shape. Acrylic, I think uh, Vic changed them. His name is Vic. I sell for Vic and his wife, Jen. They, uh, they're buying a nice, uh, country coats from us. All right, little scrub here, no big deal. You could probably buff it out or put one of those uh, color polish, okay? It's not a damage, it's got a little scrub. Uh, big LP tank, sewer hose, storage, another storage here. By the way, tires are Firestone. They're in good shape, okay? They're not new. Depending on the uh, model or uh, uh, brand name you want, we can have a brand new tires put on Anywhere from fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars to a three thousand to four thousand dollars. They're Firestone. They're not showing any major dry crack. Okay, maybe just very hair, hair, you know, very hair, like very, very micro hair cracks. Okay, but good shape tires. Lots of trade. Uh, if he kept it, he was gonna put all new tires. But we'll talk that into the price. We're gonna be aggressive on this price to sell it. It's got an awning on these two windows. Uh, a little bit more clear coats coming off here. But you know, this stuff, or if I'm very close, I nitpick them, okay? But when you're 20 feet out, like where my video camera lady is, my daughter, you can't see that, okay? But uh, you've seen my other videos. I kind of nitpick them and show you everything. Got a little dent here. These are used motorhome. You don't want to use one, go buy your brand new. You're going to pay like three, four, five, six, seven times. Massive, massive in, uh, underbelly storage. Slide out tray that opens up on both sides. Let me show you how that works real quick. Oh, uh, well, we got some boxes there. I know what the boxes are. They just dropped it off. It's got a, a original bed spread and stuff. Lots of storage under there. The reason I couldn't open it because there were bigger boxes on the other side. That should be a water bay. It's got the winter package. So, you know, it's winterized right now, but if you keep it plugged in, you don't have to winterize. Got nice dock lights. Again, look at the tires, come close. They're 2111. They're in pretty good shape, Bridgestone. Got very, very minor hair cracks, but we'll, we'll talk that about. It, it's got big bay windows, side aisle floor plan. You'd love that. Another awning for the bedroom window. And I say, I think the, all the slide out top are acrylic, acrylic, they were changed when I sold it. Side mount radiator, baby. That, that is a bus chassis. 50 amp power cord is on electric reel. It also has a big, looks like a, it's an aftermarket surge protector, I believe. Yes, uh, yes, it is. I think. Yep. Or well, it could be automatic transfer switch, but it is electric. Got a few little road rock chips. You know, typical thing. Nothing major. Uh, green dark parts. Got little checking in it. And again, that's you got to be very close with the magnifying glass to look at those uh, imperfections in the paint. A little boo boo right here. Again, you walk back, it's not there. So when you open up the back engine, you have the uh, engine cover, you have an access to the CAT C7 350 CAT engine. Um, he maintained it very well. If something went wrong, he changed it. And talking about changing it, he's got two new roof air conditioners with heat pumps. And we'll show you up on top, brand new. Also, speaking of brand new, got brand new batteries and brand new inverter. Magnum, it's a, let's see, 2012, it's a 2000 watts uh, inverter, brand new. We also have brand new batteries. How about that? 
And we just dropped the price from $74,995 to $69,995. If you want to pay me a little more, we can have brand new tires, okay? Uh, a little bit more clear coats coming off right there on the back side, but overall in beautiful shape. Champagne, black, green, uh, Elco, aluminum wheels. This thing is just glazing. He also put that LED light, if you see that, under the uh, galley slide. 10 gallon hot water heater, all the storage, same thing you saw it on the other side. This is what we're talking about. All these original pillows and stuff. It goes with the coach. And all right, all the pillows and stuff. So goes with the motorhome. Lots of storage. A previous owner put another shelf. It could be a vehicle before that. That, 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 that kind of uses more, utilizes more, you know, have another shelf. I think it's got some lights under there. What do you call those LED lights? Over here, we gotta check this out. A big, massive 42 or 47 inch TV. You take a little nail out of here and it slides out. Let's see, it, twi it twists and it comes out. There we go. And it even has a little Bluetooth insignia, insignia TV with a sound bar. Um, Vic was proud of this. This is a tailgater right there. And speaking of tailgate, it doesn't matter you're Gamecock, Alabama, Crimson Tide, Florida State, whoever you are. It's a football, man. I hate it. The football season is ending. Super Bowl. All right. So nice outside entertainment. Should be another little storage. And look at this storage. It's in very, very clean shape, you know, not never been abused. Before Vic got it, we got it at a, a Lexington John's RV. It was a trade-in. Uh, those people have subscribed to our YouTube channel. They know we do not buy auction junk. Uh, what I mean by junk, they repo. When you can't make a payment, you can't take care of it. This was a trade-in when, when we sold it to Vic and his wife, and he put new air conditioners, whatever he needed, he took care of it. New batteries, new inverter. Inverter went out. I told him he could rebuild one, but he said, nah, we'll just put a brand new. That's how he is. Uh, got an entrance awning, electric awning. Uh, we have not that got open. We're just trying to finish up a quick video. This 3M film, you could take it off over here too, but we did We, we did the front. Oh, he, he had it done. Come on in this motorhome. Carpet is about three years old. When we sold it to him, it had a new carpet installed. But over here, I'm gonna take this thing off and show you it's got a tile. You see tile coming in? He just got this thing, so you know, you can kind of wipe your clean, dirty feet off. Uh, carpet in here, but uh, really nice coaching. Those who have subscribed to our channel, we put hardwood floors in it. You want to spend about $2,500 for LVP. That's a luxury vinyl floor. We can change that, but you know, there's nothing wrong with the carpet. Some folks like Vic, they like carpet. So this carpet is in good shape, three years old. A uh, couple of hair cracks in here. Under the refrigerator, two tiles. I mean, you know, if you want to spend three thousand dollars or four thirty-five hundred, you can get carried away when you want to remodel. We can take all this tile off and put a luxurious vinyl click clack floor, but I don't see any reason to do that. Booth dinette or booth. It's got a little locking mechanism. It opens up, and it's probably got a one or two extra chairs. You can go to a Costco and get a couple of them. Nice little counter space to put your fruits and bread and all that stuff. Uh, surround sound system. This bed opens up. It's a magic bed, opens up. I mean, look at this upholstery. It's in really, really good shape. Only 60 some thousand miles. Uh, over here is Lounge J sofa. It doesn't open up, I don't think. It's got some storage under there. Not a whole lot, uh, but little storage. Put some bed sheets and stuff. All right, over here we got a Korean countertops, three burner gas stove, solid surface countertops. Let's see, stainless steel dual sink, a little pull out sprayer, lots of storage under there, up over here. Ah, oh, my thing keeps falling off. Oh, we don't lose audio. Okay, so more storage under there. All right, double door refrigerator with an ice maker. Hey, there's some water I've been looking for. All right, a little thirsty. So that is a Dometic brand new thermostat with the two new roof air conditioners, 
with a heat pump. It did not have heat pump, so it's upgraded, okay, in this Coach 1E. He's paying like $3,500. Inverter, about two grand, uh, $1,500, buy it that installed. He spends several thousand dollars maintaining this modem. Of course, they love camping, so they're buying a little 45 foot tag axle, big coach. A little extra counter space, a little wine cooler stuff. Come on in the side aisle floor plan. I, I, I love that. It's got big, huge, uh, gigantic bay windows. As you saw there from outside, man, I love it. More light is better. I love this configuration. So you come in the toilet area and a shower. You can come in through the side aisle or you can close this door and you have access to the bedroom. Bedroom has a king size bed, medicine cabinet, standard, stand up shower, tall coach. I mean, Vic is 6'4 and he fits in here and never complain. I'm six foot. He's two, three inches taller than me. Electric flusher, by the way, he chained this toilet too. I think toilet is brand new. He's giving him a hard time. He just said, put new one. So uh, there it goes. All right, carpet, new carpet in the bedroom area too, in really, really good shape. By the way, this motorhome has no odor of any type. They were not a pet owner, no non-smoker, uh, no male dude, just clean coach. You see it in here. We took our shoes off to come in here. Uh, nice vanity. Hmm. Let's open that up. It's got a window behind it. How about that? Another LCD TV. Got a washer dry combo. Uh, some storage up on top. Pretty deep storage, as you can see. And then we have a coat closet here. There goes extra chair. If you want one more, we'll throw you one more. Uh, there's a light. Cedar line closet. Pretty big closet, pretty deep, so you know, you put some big coats or wide coats. I love the part, it's got a king size bed. Let's see, should be some storage under there. Uh, yes, it does. It's a little bit of storage right there. This little that thing opens up and it's got storage under there. Alrighty, this will conclude our video on this 2005 four wind by Thor Manufacturing, Mendeley, model 40E as an elephant. Four slide out, Ooh, six some, uh, uh, 63,000 miles old. Let's, let's, let's sit in this area. I forgot that cockpit area. Let's find out. 1,485 hours on generator, uh, 63,927, 63,927 miles. Smart steering wheel. All right, so it, it you just little pump right here. It could go up and down. Tilt, telescopic, backup monitor, um, JVC radio, six-speed Allison, exhaust brakes, HWH, leveling jacks. They work fine. Look at all the windows. They're in good shape. I don't see any windows are being any, uh, ex you know, extensively faded. Or foggy, they're good. They're good, good, good coach. Uh, got all three electric sun visors in the front, one in the center, passenger and driver side. It even has uh, two fans on top. Another LCD TV up there, air horn. Uh, all right, we got a little horn competition going. My wife is moving the motor. He's got a pedal adjustment. You can go up and down. I mean, this is a nice equipped coach. I mean, I tell you what, Mandalay, if I had to pick to compare with them, they're like a Monaco coaches, okay? And, and, and really, really uh, quality built. They're, the way their compartment door opens and shut, uh, the woodwork, the chassis, they put on raised rail chassis with a pass-through storage. So you wouldn't compare this motorhome with like some Fleetwood Discoveries and nothing to put down a bounder. They, they got a, a two feet deep storage. They don't have a pass-through storage because they ride on a different chassis. They also have a little 275 or 300 Cummins. Oh, by the way, speaking of Cummins, this coach, it was modified by Truck Toys in uh, Easley, South Carolina. He spent a bunch of money on it and this thing has over 400 horsepower, okay? That is another great upgrade. We're not going to have time today to test drive it, but if you want one, uh, we'll do video for you and send it to you before you buy it. Top of the roof is fiberglass roof. Take a look at my pictures. It's beautiful. We just had it washed. It's clean. It's white as a milk. 
one piece solid uh, fiberglass roof. This motorhome is in really good condition. It's going to be sold very quickly. Give me a call at 864-404-0054. That number again is 864-404-0054. You can also call my daughter at 864-569-5636. We prefer text communication. If you don't know how to text, no worries. Just leave us a voicemail and we'll get back to you. Uh, we have a title, South Carolina Clear, lien free title in our hand. We help you to get financing done. We also take trades. Uh, just give us a call. Thanks for watching our video and have a great day.